So <clears throat> you said this happened over time. When would you say was really like when uh, you kind of realized it or when you were 100% sure this is what your calling was? Um, I would say probably the, the, the time that it was like solidified in my heart. I was actually working at um, kids church. I was helping like, you know, kids uh, learn about Jesus Sunday mornings. And um, the youth pastor was talking about how um, youth ministry isn't a different form of Christianity. And these kids don't have a different form of Jesus. Um, they have the same Jesus that these 2000 year old apostles had. Um, and I just thought it was so powerful that we can all understand who this Jesus is and we can all believe in this Jesus who is God and who is wonderful. Um, and I, I just felt like it had been on my heart before, but at that point I was like, everybody needs to know who this person is, uh, who God is. So yeah, I'd say that's, that's where I, where I figured it out. Um, that this person who is God and man and who loved us enough to die for us, I think he should be known, known by everybody. So that's kind of the moment where that was solidified. Yeah, uh, I think I find it very interesting because, you know, like when that came, when you found out about that it was going to be, you know, kind of like your path serving to God and those things. And how has that, you know, takes doubts away? Because, you know, every once in a while, we all have doubts about, you know, mm. about what we're doing. How has, you know, like God, give you actually that belief in yourself and to, you know, like when doubts come into you, you're like, okay, you know, I know I have God with me. And how has that helped you with the doubts? Yeah. Um, great question. Um, I think one of the most difficult parts is that when you make that step of faith to do something um, like me wanting to go into ministry, there's usually a, trade-off that you have to make like if you go into ministry you're probably not going to make a lot of money and um um so you have to you have to have faith that god will provide for you uh in a certain way but yeah there are definitely doubts there are times where i wonder um if this is if like if i'm cut out for it if i have enough social skills to talk to people if i will be ever be smart enough to to articulate myself but um i think just having having the bible the scriptures the giant book of people failing and messing up and also a giant book of people who are restored by the grace of God is very encouraging to me. So I would say when I'm, when I have doubt, I just, I go to the Bible and I read and I, I figure out how, how good God is to these messed up people, including me. And uh, just pray. You just, you get to be in the presence of God. Uh, and I think that's so powerful that you, that all of us who are weak humans get to be uh, even asking this supreme, perfect, holy being, anything, and that he would listen to us at even more amazing.